Okay, so we're here on the IROS conference in Portugal, and this is the robot which is called Euro. It's being developed within a consortium of a couple of European universities and uh, our company, Acrea. And this is developed to study interaction between human and the robot. Normally you would expect the robot, if you see him outside, you would expect that the robot can guide you through a town or exhibition. In this project, the situation is completely different. We send the robot out and we don't give him any information. So the robot is supposed to extract the information and the directions where to get to the place he's supposed to get to go and to fulfill the mission from the pedestrians. So uh, the first challenge is to go out, look around, uh, to find uh, people who would uh, provide this information, and then it's, uh, you, you're, fa you're facing the first uh, technical challenges. You need to drive out in the city, so you need uh, suspension in order to overcome overcome uh, op steps, obstacles, cobblestones, uh, train lines. Uh, we have all that in, in Munich city center. But the interaction is still with, with voice, it's not by touching on the... No, 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 actually we found that this touch screen is disturbing us. Because when people see a face touch screen, they don't look into the, the into face. The face. Yeah. They keep fiddling around. Sure, yeah. And now the experiments are taking place in Munich, is that right? Yes, it's, uh, the robot is running uh, every day basically outside, uh, provided it's not raining. <laughs> Surprise, or this is sadness, right? Okay. Or fear, or anger, or joy again. All right. Project this on some kind of coordinate system, and you can move this this point here.